Hello, this is Game of Paul with my Let's Play of Rogue Legacy on the PlayStation 4. A game by Cellador Games and Abstraction Games. This looked quite interesting, so I thought I'd give this a go. Uh, right then, we're just loading at the moment, so uh, bear with us. Haven't played this at all, so I'm not too sure to expect, other than what I've seen in uh, other reviews and a, a few videos. That must be us then. My duties are to my family. Cross save enabled. Why well, I'm loyal only to myself, of course. Right, are we controlling the guy? Yep, we are. Tap X to jump. Hold X to jump higher. Ah. Tap square to attack. Oh, pretty easy. I think what I might do is uh just. Turn, turn down the the music a tad. There we go. Can we, can we break that? Yes, we can. Can we break the barrels? Yep, protecting some old coinage there. Hold down and tap to drop. Yep. Pretty much break most things, then it, it seems. I do like the music, it reminds me a lot of the old 8 uh, bit games. Hold down and tap uh, square to attack down. Oh. There we go, just trying to collect a few more coins there. Can't break the bookcase. No, nope, can't break that, so. I've got a funny feeling we've got some uh, quite tricky jump jumping bits in this. Yep. I'm guessing we're going there. No secret areas then. Nope, straight in there, then we go. A few glass paintings, glass uh, windows even. Oh, who are you? Press square to attack. Oh! So here we go then. So that must have been the uh, the tutorial. So we're going to tap R2. And that's just the, the credits. Uh, triangle for the options. So we're going to jump straight into the game then. Uh, start your legacy. Press the, uh, the cross button. <laughs> Do you even lift? Oh god, oh, that's the obligatory training dummy then, is it? Alright, that's enough of that. Building. Game's quite uh, colourful, isn't it? Um, very retro looking. I do like my uh, retro look looking games. Select a teleporter. You are here. Ah, uh, so this uh, might be a little bit like the Castlevania games then. View map any time. So I'm guessing the map reveals itself. Journey, journal entry number one. Treason. An assassin has wounded my father, the king. To bring order back to the kingdom, he has sent my siblings and I on a quest to save him. Together we will venture into the cursed woods and enter Castle Hampson. This cursed castle has stood on the edge of the woods since time immemorial, but rumours say that within it dwells an item which will cure any ailment. Tonight I will get a head start over my brothers and sisters and set forth on my quest while they lay asleep. Sneaky. To fail this quest would be an embarrassment to my name. A little bit like my, my reading skills, I can... Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, God. Taking a few hits. Up 
bloody skeleton up there. I've got no idea how... Oh, that didn't last very long, did it? So Lee has been slain by a Frosten. The architect is very useful for practicing against bosses. Press X to move on. So, from what I've gathered then, um, you're probably going to be dying a lot on the game. Um, very similar sort of uh, difficulty to Dark Souls and uh, similar to uh, Don't Starve, where you, you have to start over again, but you keep your level. Um, so all we've got then is to select the knight at the moment. Oh no, we've got several. We've got uh, Johannes, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. Sir Lee and Sir Wallace. Uh, Sir Wallace, your standard hero, pretty good at everything. Uh, traits none, spell, conflux. Launches orbs that bounce everywhere. And Sir Lee... And Johannes has got no skills at all. So, we'll have Sir Wallace then, I think. Yep, confirm. And we've got a trophy. Smithy. Unlock the smithy and gain access to fat loot. And they've spelt fat wrong. Well, never mind. Uh, what have we got now? Toggle icons on and off. Oh, look, we've got enough gold. No, we've got 40 gold and we need 50, so we won't be upgrading to the smithy. And here we go again, then. <coughs> One must pay the toll. Give Sharon all of your money, or Charon even, and enter the castle. That's not very nice, is it? That cost me 40 gold to bloody get back into the place. Oh, I don't know. Is the map still the same? No. Gotta do it all again. Don't need to read that again, do we? Take care of you. Try the uh Oh! Oh, but the eyeball now. That was lucky. Try not to get hit by that eyeball. Trying a downward attack there, but it didn't quite work. What have we got then? Oh, we've got some nasty fireballs. Time that. So, we can go up. Or we can go to the right. Oh! Got a drumstick. Always good to have a drumstick. Oh, not again. And we're dead again. So Wallace has been slain by a corrupt knight. The darkness is always at the bottom of the castle. Press X to move on. And here we go again. So, level naught knight. We've got 90 gold this time. Oh. Sends uh, Lady D. She's got a trait. You were born to be a, a basketball player. I don't know how that's going to be handy in this game, but never mind. And her spell is Scythe. Sends Scythe flying out from above you. Let's play with uh, Lady D for a second. Have we got enough gold? Yes, we have. So let's... Un unlock the, the smithy. Smithy unlock. The blacksmith can build the finest equipment in the world, turning you into a veritably virtuous violent villain vaporizer. Wow. Uh, uh, tongue twister there. Gathering blueprint, blueprints even will give him an even wider array of assorted armaments for your armory. Whoa, it's a few mouthfuls in this game. So what we got next? Health up. I think we could do with that, but we haven't got enough gold and mana up. Nope, so... Oh! Welcome, hero. 
Maybe you can help me. I used to be the greatest blacksmith in all the lands. But one day the monsters of this castle attacked my smithy and stole all my blueprints. Without these blue blueprints, uh, I can only make cutlery and stuff. Well, that one wouldn't be very handy, would it? A fork and a spoon wouldn't be much use. But bring back my uh, any blueprints you find, and I can build this the most amazing equipment ever, ever. Right. Uh, price, of course. Yep, there's always a catch. So what have we got, then? Squire sword. Plus seven damage, but a lot heavier. Um, so it's quite a bit then. Squire helmet. And it looks like the rest we might need a, a few blueprints uh, for them. As we're going to lose the sword. No. Alright, okay. Can't have the sword then. Never mind. She's a pretty uh, big lady this one, isn't she? Yes, we're going to give Charon all of your money and enter the castle. I called, uh, called him Sharon last time, but... Right, here we go again. Right, what awaits us this time? Breaking everything in sight here. Oh, and the castle's different. Pesky little thing. Your little sod. Ah. Collecting loads of money. Well, I have some of that. Alright, we've got to watch this health. So, where have we got? Uh, we can go right or we can go back. Ah! I like to destroy pretty much everything. Oh, so I hit the painting and the painting's chasing after me. Can't seem to hit up. Right, where are we going to go next? Getting quite a bit of gold, but I could do with some help. Ah, of course the special ability. Completely forgot about that. And that's what uses the uh, uses the old mana. Oh, well, certainly could uh, uh, do with that. Right. Aha! So the old teleporter. Ah. Very cool. So we'll go back to where we were. Ten magic points. Now entering forest. I didn't even catch that. So this is going to be a tricky one, isn't it? I'm going to have to do a downward stab on this one. Ah. Well, that was tr that was very tricky. At least they don't spawn back then, it seems. Oh. And dead again. Lady D has been slain by a scout. You should have picked the other child. Lady D's parting words. Oh. Certainly keeps you on your toes, this, doesn't it? So have we leveled up at all? Yes, we have. We're now level one knight. And we've got 260 gold as well. Uh, choose your air again then. Uh, and now we've unlocked Sir Wilco. A class, his class is Mage, a powerful spellcaster. Every kill gives you mana. Trait Hypergonadism. Oh, uh, you're a permaroided. <sighs> Attacks knock enemies further. Trait Hypochondriac. You tend to exaggerate. <laughs> Spell Conflux launches orbs that bounce everywhere. Let's give him a whirl then, shall we? Hypergonadism, put my teeth back in, and hypochondriac. Yep, uh, we've got quite a bit.